today we're going to learn how to make our very own Pinterest worthy mood board using an online design program called Canva, along with a free commercial use photo site called Unsplash. First thing that you're going to want to do is decide the mood that you want to create. Is it bright and playful, earthy or moody? Maybe it's inspired by a location. Once you have an idea of the kind of mood board you want to make, go to Unsplash. This is a free site that you can use for commercial use. So just go ahead and sign up and then start searching for images that you want. So I'm going to make a mood board based on Paris. So I'll type in Paris and start finding some images that look good. You want to find anywhere between 10 to 12 photos or more just to get you inspired. You can also look for things for certain colors. So maybe you're not going to find everything when you look at Paris, but maybe you can look up fashion and you can find something that also looks like it could belong to Paris. You can save that to your board. Once you've saved all the images that you want, the next thing that you're gonna do is go to Canva. You're going to create a free account and then you're going to make a design. So the design that, you're wa that you want to make is a Pinterest graphic. What you want to do is download all the photos that you're gonna use from Unsplash. So if you go to your collections, click on your little icon and you can find your collections. So what I'm going to do is download the pictures that I want. So this little arrow right here allows you to download. So just click on that and you can download all the pictures that you want to use in your board. Once you have all the photos downloaded that you want, go back to Canva, to your Pinterest board, and then you're going to click on uploads and go ahead and start uploading the images that you want to use. What you want to do is hold down command and then just drag your photo to resize it so it will keep the same ratio. Then continue to add photos. And go ahead again and just hold down that command button. We'll scroll it, down. we'll resize it. If you don't want to show the whole photo, what you can do is just go ahead and take off the command key and then drag the photo down, and that will allow you to crop the photo. You can get that where you want it. Just keep adding photos until you have them all in the place that you want them. I want to show a little bit less of this image. So remember to hold down the command key or else it will just resize the bounding box. Once you get your photos arranged, then we're going to add colors. How you do that is just go to elements, shapes, and you're going to add a box. Again, hold down command to keep the proportions and size it down. And I'm going to actually make this more of a rectangle. In order to copy a shape, hold down, click the shape, hold down option shift and just drag it and you can go, that will give you a nice copy of that shape. You want to do about five to eight colors. And then how you change the color is just click on this little color icon and you can use the default colors or you can type in a color name. So I'll type in red and find a nice deep red that I want to use. Go with gray, maybe a dark gray. And then I want to use this kind of a the color of the bread. So maybe I'll type in tan and see if there's something that's kind of a nice warm tan. Or maybe we can look up peach. Another option that you can do 
is go to canva.com slash colors and then color palette generator. And what you can do is upload the exact image that you want to pull colors from. So if I upload that image of the bread, I can pull the colors exactly from that. So that gives me more of the tan that I want. So go ahead and copy that and then bring it back to your design. Bring it back to your design and then click on that color and you can just right click and paste and then you'll get that exact color. So that's looking better. It's still not quite as warm as I want it to. So you can click on the color and just click on this add button and then you can actually change the value of the color. So maybe I want it a little bit more yellow. So let's try that. You can just see, you can see it changing on the screen. You just drag it until you get the right color that you want. And when you're happy with that color palette, we, can, we are gonna go ahead and add a little logo or you can just type your name here. So I'm gonna go into my uploads again and I've already uploaded this logo. So I'm gonna add my logo to the bottom. You're gonna hold down command in order to resize it. Just place it there in the center. And then you have a Pinterest worthy mood board. So at this point, you can go ahead and ship, publish it to Pinterest. Maybe add a little description. Moody Paris. And then publish it. You can check out your Pinterest pin right here. So now I have my very own Pinterest worthy mood board. I hope you liked the tutorial. Go ahead and like this video. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and helpful tips about art and design. Thanks.